Yes, right. good morning, family. Y'all here tuned in. Me and my boy Frankie Fly. Thank y'all for tuning in this morning here on the Sports Huddle. Um, definitely some great, interesting news to kick off this morning. I'm um, about to get directly into the daily verse before we get started with that. And uh, then following the daily verse, we'll be getting into baseball. There's a lot of exciting news. Um, it's getting real pushy um, at the in the NLE. In the NL East, you know, my division with the Mets and the Braves, not not satisfied with last night, um, but we're going to get into it. And just some great, you know, great sports news this morning. Um, so the daily verse for the day of September 29th, 2022, derives from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10. And it states as follows. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. And again, it's from the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 10. And yes, um... So, um, back to the details from last night. Unfortunately, the Braves lost in a in a in a um a extra inning, basically like an overtime for baseball. It went to ten innings, and um, yeah, they lost by one run. And the Braves, not the Braves, and the Mets, who are there battling for first place for in the East, basically for home field advantage in the postseason, which is you know you know super important. Um, yeah. but um. They were, they happened to win in, in extra innings as well in ten with a walk off hit. Um, they won by one run, so they they're ahead of us one game now. So they coming in, they but they're coming. In. The good thing is, and this is message I would give the Atlanta Braves. You know, I mean, I've been seeing them all year. You know, give up games. You know, not all, every game counts, but you know, there'll be you know one one run or away or you know what i mean something like that something that slipped you know especially in extra innings that you know we could definitely you know we could have we could have got ourselves out of there earlier left people on the base you know not getting enough hits and you know the times right now right you know again battling for that postseason spot really you know again like home field advantage that you know that they're, they're coming up short but you know i would i would just tell them you know like i know brian brian uh snitker is, is definitely you know you know let them know, hey, we have three games right here. Really, these last five games of the season, because we got five more games left. Really, these last five games of the season, you know, we got to win because – oh, six games. I'm sorry. We played the, we played the Mets three times, and we got we got to sweep them, and then we play the Mariners three times. You know what I mean? Which the Mariners and the Mets just played. So, like, this basically – you know how, like, usually at the end of the year, every – um, from what it seems like, every – uh, division plays their people, you know, most like in football, just how it is, you know, around the end of the, I right, know Christmas time or, you know, at the end of the year, in the last couple of games of the season, we playing either the, you know, the Giants or the Reds, you know, or the, or the Commanders yeah. or whoever it is. So, but yeah, these are definitely important games, man, to be able to put ourselves in a position to be able to, you know, have a, have a great shot at, you know, uh, making a world series again. I mean, it, which we do because we have a, we have a roster that's, that's built for that, you know, and hopefully we get, um, Albies back, Ozzy Albies, you know, he had got hurt again. Hopefully we get him back and um, just really, yeah, just try to, you know, really make this push for the postseason great. You know, just, just try to, you know, repeat or whatever. So I'm excited, man. Yeah, I'm watching the highlights right now. You know, it's crazy, man. I ain't even, I, I, yeah. I was following it, but I didn't watch it because it was like 2-1 for a long time. And then, yeah. oh, my gosh, it's okay. But, it was in the 10th. Yes, yeah, 10th innings, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It was a good game, though. But like I said, we can – we can win, man. We can definitely, you know, we can, we got big bats. We got a good defense. We got some great pitchers. You know what I mean? We, you know, we can definitely do a lot of good stuff. Um, but following that on a good note, you know what I mean? I am excited. You know, Aaron Judge, um, you know, he, he made history again. He tied um, Robert Marvis last night. I think I pronounced the young man. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ro Roger Mar Maris. I'm sorry. I'm talking about Robert. <laughs> Roger Maris, he tied him for 61 home runs. Um, I actually have probably Aaron Judge, you know, hitting hitting about sixty five. He got again six yeah. more games, and I, I think he can at least get three more home runs out of that. Um, you know, and it's gonna be exciting to see. He's definitely you know a young a young player who's been on the rise since he got in the league. You know, we've been hearing about Aaron Judge since he's me personally since he's got in the league. You know, what I mean, from my understanding, and he's just you know been dominating. So I'm I'm definitely excited for him. Excited for his future. I'm excited for what the Yankees gonna do in the postseason to see what they can do. And I'm excited for this postseason. It's gonna be a lot of uh, teams that you know missed out last year that are here this year and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a, a wild ride so I'm just excited and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It seems like this year every team, regardless of sport, has like a fair chance at getting in. Like not just baseball, but like football. Every team stepped up in basketball. You know, 
like every, every it's literally any given day or anybody can win and that's 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 great for the fans you know what i mean yeah, that's sports right there. You know, yeah, that's sports. Like, you know, just like you said, yeah. just on every level. And even like in the collegiates, you know, all this. I mean, it's just everything's evolving. Like how, you know, look what um uh, Deion Sanders doing with Jackson State. You know what I mean? Those mm-hmm. type of things. You know, it's just good, man. Elevate. I just think, you know, people, you know, sports sports does that anyway. You know, when you, when you want to be great, you know what I mean? And, and, you know, obviously you have challenges and obstacles in your life anyway. But with sports, it's like it's competitive. You know what I mean? It's like literally... You know, you have to put your body on the line in whatever sport or whatever you're doing to go against somebody, even if it's not like, you know, like say golf specifically, even if it's not like I'm going right up playing against you one on one or something. It's still, you know, my, my swings and my everything has to be calculated perfect to be able to get to this hole, the, the least amount of shots. You know what I mean? To be number one. You know what I mean? So it's like it's like, yeah, man, it's definitely going. It's elevated. You could definitely like you said, you could you could just tell the elevation on every level. But now, and I think that's just even towards just. You know how we how how we've come together like as a people. You know, like I just like you know as Americans, I just think we really like you know we're trying to find a new identity for ourselves, not just be like you know, but come together. You know, like you know, because like how the NFL has to, you know, how so much stuff was brought to like really, you know, like you know the po- uh, police brutality and all these things like that. Yeah. So I just think like athletes took that symbol as like we really represent you know the people, like you know, like these teams and. You know, all this stuff. And I think people really took, you know, personal pride to that. And it just like, I think it just trickled down, you know, and just really show, show more in people's, you know, attitudes and just work ethic and all these type of things. And I just, like I said, I think it trickles down, you know, like you said, even to the fan base, because especially to the ones, to the fans that's like, you know, who really love the team, like my team great. I want, I need to be great. You know what I mean? And, and that's, you know, and a lot of people really do look at it like that because I, you know, I had that type of, you know, feeling just, you know, my personal representation anyway, I want to be great. But the teams that I represent, you know, now they're on the uprise and I have to, you know, continue to be, you know, be great and then obviously flaunt them, you know, but, you know, because I represent them too, like, just like they represent me, but I represent myself, you know, and I want to be able to stand on that. And when people see, you know, those um, brands on whatever, you know, I represent, you know, I want them to see a prestige, you know, man, or whatever, you know what I mean, whatever they see, you know what I mean, but I'm going to be top tier for sure, you know what I mean, whatever it is, but... Oh, yeah, so I just, I definitely, you know, that's how I feel about it. You know, people might, you know, differ, but that, that's just personal why I felt, like you said, from every level, just a sports period, you know, just, just yeah, a dominance, basically. Absolutely. Yeah, so. So you want to uh, jump into Thursday night? No, nah, we got to go, we got to go to rundown. We got to go to rundown last weekend. Don't oh, act. Shoot. Don't act, no. Nah. Don't act, no. Nah. Hey, we had some thrills. I picked some teams to win, I, and my teams won. I picked some teams. All right, so we're going to, let me, let me pull, wait for it to pull up right here. Yeah, you can run it down. Yeah, you do the NFL anyway. My bad, I'll be, you do, run it down, run it down. All right, so starting off with uh, Thursday night, I think we already talked about this one, but it was uh, Pittsburgh versus Cleveland. Cleveland came out on top, 29-17. Then we moving on to the next games. Uh, New Orleans versus Carolina. Carolina took that one. Stop putting your hand over the, stop putting your hand over the mic. Oh damn, my bad, my bad. No, nah, you I can hear you, but it's just muffling in and out. You good? And we got Houston against Chicago. Chicago took that one by three. This was a shocker. Um, I don't think either one of us picked this one. Maybe I maybe you did, I think. Um Indianapolis lost to I me, mean, Indianapolis beat Kansas City by three. Uh, I think we talked about this. Uh, cause I said, you know, I, I don't think we picked up, but I was just like I don't know what's going on there, but I told I think I spoke about Matt Ryan and, you know, what he, you know, what he needed to do, you know, like, you you know, you went here to be, you know, try to win the championship, basically, you know what I mean? You took yeah. one team to here, so, I, I mean, I think we talked about it, but I don't think we picked the winner, yeah. But good game. And then we got the shocker of the, of the week, Miami beat Buffalo. I think you picked this one, too. Oh, I don't remember. I think I picked the Bills, probably. I think I picked the Bills. That was, um, that was a thriller, though. That was a thriller, man, yeah. you know. Wow. And we got... Minnesota beating uh, Detroit by four. Yeah, Detroit's on the up and up. I'm 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 proud of them. They actually they were down big in that game early and they they fought yeah. back. So yeah, okay. and then uh, we got my game. Um, Baltimore beat. Well, no, kind of. No, I was I was looking at the Lions and Vikings. They were they were kind of down, but they was they t- they scored first and then I the the uh. The Vikings came back. Go ahead. I'm, I'm sorry. And then we got 
the Bengals finally getting a win, I think, against uh, New Jersey, against the Jets, I'm sorry. Yeah. And then we got a good game that I saw the end of it. Um, the Titans going against the Raiders. They won by two. I picked the Titans. I, I spe- yeah. I, sp- I think I remember that one. Yes, because I told you, if I was a Titans coach and we went and we just got beat like that and we about to be at our house yeah. again, we about to go 0-3. No, no, no. Like, so that was a good game. Good game on them. Good game to them. That's all. And then we got your game. You was live and direct. Yes, sir. We was in that thing. You know what I'm saying? Hey, we left, we, we left the third quarter. I ain't even had to stay. We smacked them boys. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, we, we ain't even, I left the third quarter, get ahead of traffic. We smacked them boys. Fly Eagles fly, baby. On to the next yeah. one. Yeah. Who y'all play this week? The Jaguars. It's going to be a, a heck of a matchup. I'm excited. I'm that's excited. Good. It's going to be a great okay. game. That That's 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 the next game on the list. Jaguars whooped on uh, the Chargers. Exactly. Doug, P- hey, Doug Peterson doing his thing. Like I said, you know what I mean? I knew, I knew to expect he, he was our coach. You know what I mean? Like, I told you. He was gonna get he was gonna get behind Trevor Lawrence all the way. You feel me? And 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 and, and just put into him, bro. Doug P is a great guy. You know, like like Brandon Graham was saying the other day, him and Nick Sariani differences is because Nick Sariani has a younger, he has a more moderate coaching style of NFL. You know what I mean? It's more like he's more like analytical, more like really direct. Yeah. He's open to he's more he does his thing. It's like his his team. You know, and he was like, and, and Brandon Graham was like, Doug Peterson's more, is he the same way, but he's more old school. He's more like, right. stick to a pattern, you know what I mean? Stick to a, you know, and then you can even tell that game style of how, that's how we won a Super Bowl because, one, it just gelled together Nick Foles, how he was, the type of quarterback he was, and then, two, the simplicity of 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 Doug Peterson and how he could form, you know, he can he can snap it on and off based off, you know, one quarterback who, who he has in his in his pocket. And then two, to be able to go forward and be able to adapt with them and, and have them, you know, play their style of football. You know, like Nick, we didn't ask Nick Foles to do too much. You know, play action a few times, throw the ball down the field, complete pass. He did that. You know, not he didn't have to run around, scramble. You know how like our playbook got now is catered around Jalen Hurts or, or how it was around Carson Wentz because they were more mobile. You know what I mean? But yeah, I mean, hats off to the Jaguars doing a great, great job. Like I said, I'm excited for this game this Sunday. I should have been at this game too, but it's okay. You know, I'm gonna get to some more. But you know, I, yep. I feel like now I want to go to every game. It'd be so electric, bro. I love it, man. It's this, you know, seeing it in, in like being there in person, and 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 I've been like I said, this last two years we've been going to the games. You know, so we're gonna we're gonna continue to do that. But like going live is like, it's bro. It's tradition, oh my man. gosh, man. It's it's the, it's the best. Like it's it's yeah. no it's no other feeling, bro. Like I love yeah, it. Remember- Regardless of, it's, it's great when they win, but regardless of how the game goes, you know, it's always great to, you know, have your family all together at, at one event and, you know, everybody enjoys the same thing at the same time. You know, that's that that's that's something that's very, um, it's, it's a good imprint on the kids. It's like, it's like wow, my dad likes it so much. I'm going to like it too. Yes. Thing, you know what I mean? You should have seen Zuri. You should have seen it coming out of that. She was fussing because we left the third quarter. I'm like, we got, I'm like, we won. <laughs> She like, I want to see the Eagles. She just cried. Oh, making a scene. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, oh, just fussing. She, she wanted to see. She wanted to see the rest of the women. I love it. I'm, that, that's my baby. Like, they, my girls know. They, they know, man. They, that's our team. That's why I say, you know, like, you know, people are really, you know, like I said, being around that, you know, and there's just how many, think of how many fan bases is like. They know passionate people, are passionate about a lot of different stuff. You know, they might not mean something to some people, but like I said, sports is. It's a lot for a lot of people's life, man. It changes a lot of people's life. It gives them hope, you know, a lot of different things, man. I love it, and I thank God for sports, man, like, for real, bro. You know, I thank God for a lot of stuff, but, you know, whoever created sports, bro, thank y'all for real, because thank you, God. All right, you know I mean? All right then we got, uh, we got Arizona taking on the Rams. They lost by eight, so the score was 20 to 12. And then we got Atlanta going against... Seattle, yeah. they lost by four. Who, so who did I pick? Who did I pick? Uh, you picked Atlanta. Okay. You said I'm going to go with the home turf. Yeah, because I don't know. I ain't, I ain't checked Mariota numbers, but I told him, Mark and Mariota better. It's, it's, it's his time right here. It's the only time he's going to yeah. get. Is it right yeah, here. No so. choice. Better go win. <laughs> yep. And then we got Green Bay, the two vets, yep. going against the Bucks. The Green Bay won by two, so it was a, it was a low-scoring game, 14-12. to 12. 
And then we got um, the second to last game, the 49ers taking on the Broncos, another low-scoring game. Um, the Broncos won by one, so it was 11-10. Mm-hmm. And then we got the final game of the week, the Cowboys taking on the Giants in MetLife. Cowboys won 23-16. Mm-mm-mm. I mean, hey, good game. Hats out to the Cowboys. I just read for Dak Prescott yeah. to come back. You know, he wanted he wanted to be in the locker room with his shirt off, like he done played after the game. We gonna show him. <laughs> so I want I want I want him to have his thumb ready when he see us. You know, what I mean, because I don't want no excuses when we when we when we roll stump them. Because you know they love to say, oh, oh, the Eagles played three trash teams. How do how are they trash teams? You know what I mean? Because at the end of that, last time I checked, I thought every team was professional football players. You know. The Jaguars were trash last year, but they they you know they wanted to t- they wanted the team with one of the you know best records in the league. They two and one right now. You know, yeah, it's only week three, but people want to you know people want to make excuses about why their teams are sorry. You know what I mean? I, I I don't understand, but I know one thing about my team, bro. And first of all, I just know when when a, when a whole team get behind a quarterback such as Jalen Hurts, bro, his own his work ethic trickles down. You know what I mean? That's that what I just said about being great. Like that's what I said when you when you have. When you have individuals around you, bro, first of all, the leader of your team, you know what I mean? The guy who pulled up, you know, we, we, we look to him. If everything go good or bad, we look at the quarterback first. You feel what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. when you had that, when you had that person that, you know, is, is the leader of y'all team and, and no, he not, he not even, he not even, he, this don't mean nothing to us. 3-0 don't mean nothing. That's just a, we supposed to win. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm confused. Right. You know, this is football. This is what we supposed to do. You know what I mean? So it's like, or sports period. So it's like when you win, it's like, Okay, what we got to do to get better so we can keep winning. You know what I mean? It's not like, oh, we won three games. And people people that are really trying to, you know, underestimate us, which I, which I love, bro. You know what I mean? And I, and I know they love it. You know, that's how I know I'm a fan. I be like, I'm on a team. Like, I'm in a locker room, you know, drill, even though they ain't, they ain't even listening to this. You know what I mean? But they know about the work ethic because they know what to put in on the work. That's how. I, like, that's why I said I feel like I'm on a team because I'm ready to go jogging down the field, hit some bags. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm ready to go on the field. And I'm just saying that's how, you know, that's how I know, what t- that's how I know they mental is, bro, because they ready to get it in. Because when they come to Sunday and it's another man in front of them, that's that's the and 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 the thing about it too, bro. When when you understand, you can only control what you can control, bro. You know that's really you know that's the biggest thing just for life. Period, though. You feel what I'm saying? That's really like me personally. That helped me. I was angry as well, like all type of stuff, bro. I just really have to go into myself, like, bro. You know, I can't do nothing about it. You know, I can't. I don't even. I don't even want to touch on subjects, anything like that. If I can't really, like I said, I I don't got no control of it, bro. Because what it's gonna either do gonna eat me up, and make me mad for what. And I ain't, I can't change them. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, exactly. bro, when people understand that in their life, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna make them better, bro. And it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna get them into their self to be one. You know, you gonna understand what you want to do in your life and what you and how, what and how you gonna do it. You feel what I'm saying? And what can you do to do to accomplish that? You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, I agree, man. I mean, that, that's that's one thing I learned about myself sometimes. Like, I was like. You can't get mad at somebody for being mad at you. You know what I mean? Like you, you like you said, you can only control what you can control, and anything outside of your control, you can't control. You know what I mean? So like all that overreacting and getting upset because things didn't go your way, that's normal. You don't gotta be upset about it. Just like you said, control what you control, and let everything happen how it's supposed to happen. Yes, sir. I'm excited about this uh, this week of football, though, man. It's going to be some good games, man. Go ahead, kick it off Thursday night football, please, young man. Frankie Fly, hey, man. Yeah, this Frankie Fly, man. Y'all better tune in to my partner. Put your IG out there, man. Put your IG out there, something. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's uh, at LOL underscore Frankie Bravo. Yeah, man. Y'all check. like Johnny Bravo, but it's Frankie. Yeah, man. Y'all check my boy out, man. Frankie Fly, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, yeah, this week we got a good, a really good matchup. A good test for Miami, even though every game has been a good test. Uh, it's Miami versus the Bengals. It's an even greater test for Joe Burrow, you know. So it's. I think it's going to be. I think Miami. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going with the Bengals. I'm, I'm telling you right now, Joe Burrow like that. This prime time. He yeah. he at home. You see the uniforms. He prime time. He at home. Joe Burrow liked that. You know what I mean? He just got, yeah, he started the season off rocky, but bro liked that. You feel what I'm saying? You see how they had started off last year? I ain't see him yet. Oh, I saw, I think the white ones. You talking about the white ones? Yes. Yeah, I saw him. I saw him. They got to win, bro. But look, but look, though. They started off last year. We know uh, Jamar Chase, rookie season, he can't catch. Bro went dumb. You know what I'm saying? So, like, 
I believe I like that. Like I like that coach. I got I got to learn the Bengals coach up there, but I like him. You feel me? They defense like that. You know, they got a good run run game. They got great receivers. A great uh, no, a great young quarterback on the rise. You know what I'm saying? This, bro, this next this next ten years, bro. We got my quarterback. We got Jalen Hurts. We got Lamar Jackson. We got Tua. We got. Uh, uh, we got we got old boy. What's up from Bills? We got um, what's his name? I can't. Josh, what? Josh Allen. Yeah, excuse me. We got uh, we got Joe Burrow. We got I said two already. We got Trevor Lawrence. We got Deshaun Watson. We got Dak. We got <laughs> <laughs> we got who else we got? Let me see. We got uh, Fields. Who else we got? Let me see who else we got. We got Murray. Man, we got some great quarterbacks. We got, we got Jones. Man, we got some great quarterbacks. We got Mahomes. Bro, we still got Brady. He ain't going to be there for 10 years. But, you know what I mean? These yeah. quarterbacks, we got Trey Lance over there. You know, we got some great quarterbacks coming up on the ride. Car, good. It's a lot. Oh, oh boy, and Chargers. I can't forget about him. Um, Herbert. Okay, yeah, yeah, man. Herbert. Man, some, bro, that's a great quarterback everywhere, bro. You know what I mean? We got yeah. bum bum boys is going up, boy. <laughs> that's facts. Those young boys. Those young boys so you going. Say you got you got, you got the Bengals, right? I got the Bengals, man. I'm going to do a score. I'm going to do a score this time because it ain't my team. Okay. I don't care. <laughs> like, when I do it my team, I feel like I'm jinxing it. You know what I mean? I, I just like to go see. They got to produce my team personally. Um, Let's see. I, I think it's going to be like 23-27-ish, like in that 23-21, like four, like a, a two to two to four point swing gap. Okay. I'm going different. I'm going... I'm going to Miami. It's going to be 30 to 17. Ooh, you put a smack down. Okay, I'm excited now. We're going to see. Okay. We're yeah, going to see. Yeah, 30 to, I'm going to write that one down. I, okay, I remember, trust me, 30 17. You don't got to write it down. We'll go, we go right back to the. Hey, we'll go right back to the record. This is this record right here, this record. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just said this to you just so I can have it. Okay, bet. I got it. Yeah, so yeah, I'm uh, yeah, cause I think, cause I'm telling you, bro, that 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 speed kills, man. If, if I don't know, man, I I just I don't want to say it's Miami's, it's it's Miami's beginning of the year. I'm gonna say that much. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Well, I don't believe in all the way, but I believe in in the now. Well, we're gonna definitely. You know we gonna we gonna definitely see you later on tonight, man. Y'all stay tuned. Then results will be live. You know, well, y'all, you know, y'all know the results tomorrow. But you know, for the ones who watch sports, we know we'll re- we'll discuss the review on Saturday sports huddle. Um, we probably have a special guest tune in with us, talk some more sports. Um, we you know we try to get that together. We're gonna be trying to do that. Um, coming up in the future, having um, you know, a third person here, you know, to be able to talk about sports and have some input on different things. Um, but to wrap it up, you know, again, just. The Braves, you know, we we about to go into this stretch. You know, hey y'all, you know, get your bats together, and get your defense right, pitchers, you know, get them balls going, and, and, and let's go, let's go make it happen. Let's go make this run to the postseason special again, cause we can do this. You know, like I said, we had a team built to be able to go dominate and and win another World Series. So let's go show the world we can do it again. And uh, to everybody out there, y'all be easy, man. Y'all be blessed. Frankie, feel like you got something to say to him, brother? Man, everybody just go out there, and be positive, like you said, control what you can control. And, you know, just, just be great and be grateful for what you got. Don't worry about what you don't got. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yeah, it's coming together, man. It's coming together, you know what I mean? God put us through, through obstacles and tests for a reason, man. Make us better, make us stronger. I, I've, I've seen it in my life personally, and I believe that. Because, like I said, everything can't be glitter and gold. And this ain't even just with stuff that's, you know, we living in a century, like in, a, in the era now, like I said, we have tangibles, money, and stuff like that yeah. is what we have to do. But back in the day, bro, we've been living for thousands and millions and millions of whatever. We've been here for forever. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, right. we've been doing this, bro. We've been going through hardships and making a way out of nothing, bro. So this ain't nothing. We're going to keep going up. Y'all got to get past that. Look past this. God is in everything we look at and touch. People got to really understand that. For real, bro. And everything. You know what I mean? But y'all be easy, bro. Y'all be blessed. For real, man. Y'all have a great day. Um, Let's make the best of it. You know, the end of this week. And I'm just, just, just like you said, let's be great. Until next time, y'all, y'all be easy. Peace.